What's good, y'all? What's good, guy? Now I'm playing. What's good, y'all? Salute your boy, Sally from me, and I'm filled, and you feel me back with another video. So don't get it twisted, because my last video was a little weak. I mean, it's still, it's still my birthday. Don't trip. Like, it's still my birthday. Like, I'm going to upload probably how many times I want today and get away with it. But, I'm about to react to um, Kennedy Zimmick. Kennedy Zimmick. If that's how you pronounce her name. But she added me on, well, she followed me on Instagram, you feel me? And then I followed her back, you know, the use. But the name of this video is called Crushes and Toilet Paper q and I actually saw the vid I actually saw the post. Not the post, but yeah, she posted it on uh, Twitter and said, oh, I mean, on hey, not Twitter. Damn. Instagram. I actually saw it on Instagram. She was like, oh, send me some questions, blah, blah, blah. DM me or tweet me some questions. So you feel me? I ain't know it. I like to go, dun 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 I like to go right into it. I never could catch a YouTuber when they're doing that except her. I swear to God. This is the only time I caught a YouTuber saying, oh, um, DM me some questions about doing Q&A. But you feel me? We're not about to talk that much. It's still my birthday. You feel me? I'm 19 years old. So sad that I didn't get my cake, but I did order me some sneakers. You feel me? Got some uh, retro ones. But you know, I'll talk that much. I mean, her video only takes a minute, so we can talk as long as we want. So, what's up? How y'all doing? Feel me, man? We just out here chilling because now I'm playing. Come on. Um, what I further do, my laptop is acting stupid, so if anything bad happens, then I'll just fix it. You feel me? What I further do, let's get into it. Google, just saying. Just saying. Ooh, it's Kennedy. I'm in the great outdoors on my uh, patio, mostly because it's been taken over by my family from France, which I'm not complaining about. But uh, you know, family, no family come travel. Just rock with this little setup for today. But a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do a Q and A, and finally I decided to do one. So that's that's what we're gonna do today. Let's, well, I'm glad let's you did. Q and A. So right off the bat, of course, there are a bunch of questions that I have. So at Abdullah Bates. Tyndall on Instagram asked me basically um, what my favorite episode of React to Film was. Thank you, Blaine. I think one of my all-time favorite episodes to film was the Reactception video that we did kind of recently where I reacted to my very first episode of Teens React. It was so weird to see myself five, six years ago and realize how much growth I've made. But, um, looking yeah, better, looking cool. better. I did see seven her. Is a good number on Twitter. So Jay, I did see her. paper over or under? The real important questions here. Under. Definitely under. Sorry, Mom. This sanctuary huh. of mine on Instagram asked, what was your cringiest moment? No, it made a noise. I'm going to stop moving. I've had a lot of cringy moments in my life, but one that's pretty recent that I can think of is, um, mm -hmm. so, I'm currently, there's a guy that I like right now, uh, who I've been talking to, and I was going to send him, a, like, we were just exchanging, like, you know, we Hold up now, hold on. Hold on. Innocent, nothing risque or anything. Um, but anyways, I meant to send him, like, this cute little kind of flirty text. And flirty text. And I accidentally sent it to a friend of mine who I'm not super close to. So it was really so weird. Send it to me. he's a guy, so he thought it was actually meant for him. And I had to be like, no. So why do you think I paid um, for the time to Snapchat asked, what was it like growing up where you lived? So I've touched upon this a I really want to have my girlfriend, but clearly she's before talking before to somebody, so I'm going to keep it to myself. I spent part of my childhood in a small, predominantly white town right outside of New York City. And growing up in this town was really, it was kind of weird. It was a little bittersweet. I did face quite a bit of racism, which I didn't realize until much later. You said New York. And then in addition to that, racism in New York. Also, like where I grew up because it was so close to New York City. I'm such a New York City girl. I'm so homesick. I miss New York City so much. Like you're California right now, right? Every day, lived there at some point. That I think was my favorite part about growing up where I grew up. Amir on Snapchat asked, "What's the most fun you've had working?" And I think the most Bullet. fun I've had working was I. So I did a film a few years ago called Only Light, where I played a girl who was kidnapped from the Congo and forced. 
person to sex slavery. <laughs> well, clearly she had movies and, and the TV shows. Can I get in one? It's like a dream like, sequence type of thing. Not to get me mad. I had to be submerged underwater in a not so large uh, fish tank for the duration of the filming day. And I was super sick. But other than that, it was so much fun to film and seeing the shots after and how it looked. Ooh. I just, ugh, it was. That's her? Well, oh, shoot, uh, I want to watch that. Malevsky Just because she in it. On Instagram asked, have you ever slapped somebody? No, I've never slapped anybody. Not that I can think of. No. Think have you ever slapped somebody but on the cheek? Asked, what was your least favorite reaction video on the Fine Bros channel? Oh. I honestly don't have a least favorite because they're all just fun to film. Yeah, facts. It's um, always fun to film. But I think my least favorite to watch, at least now that I'm older, is my very first episode of Teens React just because I feel like it's so cringeworthy. Alessa mm -hmm. on Instagram asked, what's your favorite movie? I have a lot. Um, no. I love Pulp Fiction. Favorite I'm movie. I'm a Tarantino fan. I love A Clockwork Orange. There's a movie that's my guilty pleasure called Tu Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. Go oh, to pleasure. No, what's your favorite movie? Queens, I like a lot of movies, but I know my favorite movie so is. I love my face on the camera because I'm really like sleepy still a little bit. Favorite soccer team. I'm biased because, as I mentioned, ten million times. That's the word, biased. So um, I. I'll talk about it after this video. Tex Sloan asked me, "Who is your role model?" Role models are definitely both of my parents. I look up to my parents so much. Facts. And also my grandparents. My grandfather was an amazing man, and his family. Nice one with that noise was. That's the bro. He from um, North. Dev Patel, who I, I also know. met, and Jeff Goldblum, who I walked past. Who haven't met Michael B. Jordan? Kiss, uh, Dev Patel, marry Michael B. Jordan. That's because he's black, right? And I'm sorry, Jeff, but you're really so cute. Yeah, Jeff just because just, just he's black. Mir asked, worst and best pictures of me growing up. I think this is the best. This is my favorite picture of myself of all Not time. Not bad, plenty of I'm obsessed with it. I show everyone. Of myself. I let them. Picture, I'll have to think about it. I'll insert it when I when I figure out what it is. <laughs> Camera's about to die, but thank you guys for sending me questions. It's been a blast. New videos come out every Monday, so subscribe if you want to see them. See well, I didn't even see the last video. Bye. No, I'm sorry, I did. But yeah, though, that's it. We'll talk about bias. The word bias means something to me. Oh, yeah, I did see it. She was at VidCon. Why everybody keep coming at Pontiac Made at DG right now? Pontiac Made at DG, he's apologizing to everybody right now because he got every female out there looking bad, but it's whatever, you feel me? That's Pontiac Made at DG. He, he didn't really want it to happen. Y'all made it happen, you feel me? Y'all subscribers made it happen. Hold on, look up this word. Bias. Y'all don't even know. I was trying to find this word so no hold on, so freaking long. Like I remember I was trying to find this word two freaking weeks ago. And I couldn't find it. It's crazy how I come up. Bias. Bias. Come on, son. It's one basically like I was trying to use it in, in like court. And it was basically like like um you know how you go in court and your family member's there, so they're biased because they're your family member. So if you committed a crime, they could say, no, you didn't because you was with them at this time and da 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 And what's the evidence? But it's biased because that's your family member, so they're going to be on your side regardless. Unless you killed their kid or, like, a family, other family member, then, yeah, they ain't going to be biased. But, like, if it was, like, somebody, it was, if it was, like, a, come on, focus. Why don't you always going to focus?
Wait, now I know what the word is. Bias. Favorite word, feel me? Prejudice a favor or against one thing, personal group compared with another usually is be unfair. It would be unfair, you feel me? Bias. But yeah, that's it though, man. I'm about to end this video. Shout out to her. She followed me on Instagram. I follow her back. Clearly, she has, she's texting somebody. She ain't texting me. I really wanted her to be. Blah, 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 blah. But we're not going to speak upon that. She probably know what I'm saying. Y'all yeah, probably know what I'm saying, but nah, y'all not gonna know what I'm saying. Because the way I'm about to edit this, y'all not gonna know what I'm saying. But, but yeah, that's it though. I'm done. This has been your boy Sal. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Have to hit 50 subscribers by the end of the day. Make sure y'all go subscribe to her. Follow her on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. blah. Instagram right here. YouTube in the description below. I don't know. I just froze for a second, man. I really, I really want my. Uh, let me tell you, I could be fine. But yeah, that's me, your boy Sal. Salute.